No. Oh, hey, no. I was like, oh my gosh, someone's just texted her wanting to meet up. It's the butler. Oh, <gasps> no. Oh my gosh. Dilbert has led a good life. <laughs> You'd be like, seriously, Dad? Hey, my little featurinis, and welcome back to another episode of our uh, yellow not so berry challenge in. So where are we? Mount Como Rebi. And we're going to be cracking on with saffron today. Last time we focused on the wedding. This time we're going to be focusing on saffron because, guys, <laughs> how did this happen? She's only got four days left until she becomes an adult. So that has kind of snuck up on us. She's also feeling distant at the moment. Yeah, that's kind of snuck up on us. The good thing is, pow, emotional control. Pow, manners. Pow, responsibility. These two are trash. Please don't look at them. Thank you. Fitness, looking good. Logic, looking good. Rocket science. Is the <laughs> handiness is three. Handiness is the one that's really bad. We might have to focus on handiness in this episode. Um, when she becomes a adult, we are gonna have to start her on the rocket science career. It feels like it's been a lot, but then she did actually age up into a teenager like quite a few episodes ago. And I've been playing for longer each episode to make sure that I've got enough done for each episode. So that's probably why it's feeling like things are going quite quickly. And oh my gosh, I forgot how much of a wreck they left the house in as well. Nox, can you like clean the house as a ghost, but also break some stuff for my handiness skill? Thank you. So if you guys are excited for today's episode, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you are a brocaholic, a good self-respecting brocaholic like myself, i.e. you're addicted to broccoli, please let me know in the comments below. I feel like everyone should be, but um, some of y'all be liking cucumbers instead of broccoli. So please let me know if you're on team broccoli in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you never miss a video. And is he cleaning? Nah, he's just rifling through my trash. Really, Nox? Really? You're not helping me out. Oh, here we go. Sometimes, go no, he's just moving the trash around. Oh, you great. The other thing about this house is we have one toilet. One toilet for the whole house, which isn't ideal. She's getting up to the night and peeing. Fair play to you. We've learned not to hold the pee in. If you go to my Twitter, you'll discover why. But yeah, please, uh, please definitely go for a wee if you need it. And then there's going to have to be an awful lot of tidying going on tomorrow. Ooh, and one thing I wanted to do real quick. Oh, you're about to head to bed. Oh, got you just in time. Okay, just because I wanted to go into class because I've realized that this streak of grey hair that's in Scarlet Hat's hair isn't in every outfit. But also, I'm kind of feeling like, you know, now that she's a little bit older, what tends to happen as you get older is your hair's not is an... Uh, a well, it's not in as good condition as it was when you were younger. So what some old people basically do be cutting their hair though, I feel like I'm gonna do it with her. We're gonna go for a haircut and I feel like she's gonna go fully gray as well. I feel like this is the kind of gray I would expect her to go based on the color that she was before. So yeah, it is a little bit of a switch, but I just, I always imagined her having shorter hair as she was older. Minzy was a flowing free kind of elder, but I think that Scarlet suits this kind of elderly look a little bit more. Cause you know, she's like ex-presidential Quite sensible head elder. And also, I'm just gonna check in on some of our outfits because, like, I feel like we need elder PJs, not these. There we go, scarlet PJs. That's fine. I think that's fine too. Nope, the shoes. Nope, nope, nope. So there we go. Just a little bit more elder vibes. So it's good that it's the weekend because it means I can focus on her developing her skills. She's already an A in school, so I don't really need to worry about that. Oh, and Kyo, she just come in for a bit of wind. Imagine trying to sleep, and Kyo, she's like. <laughs> You'd be like, seriously, Dad? But whatever. She'd have to go make some, oh man, breakfast and cleaning. Cleaning as well. Oh, and even the bug. Oh, and oh, wait. Yes, this is broken. Okay. Have a go at trying to repair this. Kyoshi's got his little job training people snowboarding today. I don't think Saffron's ever tried to do any extreme sports. While we're here, we should probably try and give something a go. I say while we're here, we literally live here now. But not today, because today we are going to be focusing on trying to build up that skill. He broke this as well. Nox, you legend. A handiness. I think we're about to hit level four from that. We need to hit level 10. <gasps> Ooh, retirement pay. Woo. We need to hit level 10, but we also need to go to the hidden world in... Was it in Willow Creek? I think so. Let me check real quick. Enter the secret line. Oasis Springs. Ah, where is that? Is it in the park? I don't know how I'm going to fit that into the story, but we'll find out. It's kind of fun to find out, right? But we are a long way off level 10 right now. And I've also got her taking out the dog for a little walk. This is such a nice place to walk. And keeping an eye out for teens. Adults. I mean, we're almost an adult, but like, I was hoping that we might, uh, um, might like meet some more kids our age. We're kind of running out of time to meet fellow teenagers, you know? And she always struggles
able to meet people at school. I think because she worked so hard at school, it was just really hard to try and fit in, like, making friends as well. So I'm hoping that when she joins the Rocket Science career, there's at least some people, like, near her age that, you know, because Minzy met so many friends through work. Scarlett, not so much, but, you know, she had a sorority and a uni and everything. And her, like, clubs when she was in high school. And so far, I think Saffron's definitely being, like, a little bit more... Well, I guess she is a loner. It's literally one of her personality traits as part of this challenge. But, I mean, she really has been quite, like, the loner vibes. She gets on well with Emily, but obviously she's moved quite far from Emily now. Can you stay away from me? Who is this person? Uh... Okay, things were just fine. Here comes the drama. She hates drama. She's just like, she definitely struggles. She struggles a lot with friendos and with making friends. Emily's also, because she's a child of the ocean, I feel like one day she's definitely going to end up moving to Solani, which I think is really, really cool. So far with this series as well, I've only been like dating existing Sims. So Sims that actually exist. I was using the little Simsy save. So obviously that came pre-made with loads of like pre-made Sims, which was really good. But that's like two generations ago now. So now we're left with like, quite a lot of potentially genetically very weird looking sims just because of the way sim genetics work and obviously i don't know who's been breeding with who so it might be a little bit harder for us to find somebody for saffron but we will give it our best shot and well you gotta hand it to this girl before 10 a.m she's already fixed a sink fixed a bath had a breakfast and taken a dog for a walk fair play to the girl oh look at this she's technically mourning but she's remembering all the good times from a friend that has passed i think that's probably gonna be ninzi and she's having happy memories which is really nice because usually when I see Sims morning, they're always really sad. But for um, Saffron, it's it's like happy vibes. And that's nice. I think after a certain time, you'll still get pangs of sadness. But if they taught you lots of lessons and had a good impact on your life, you'll have happy morning as well. Which sounds like an oxymoron, but it's nice to have good memories with somebody. Oh, hey, no. I was like, oh my gosh, someone's just texted and wanted to meet up. It's the butler and he's feeling a bit stiff today. Let's not, no, he's like, do you, do you want to give me a massage? No, friendo, absolutely not. More adults, adults everywhere. Ah, she's like, mom, dad, you've moved me to Japan and there's no teenagers anywhere. Scarlett's going to go get her nails done with Rose today. Rose must still be over in Japan, so that is cute. That's part of the uh, slice of life mod. Cute, she enjoyed his work because he's an outdoorsy sim, so he had good fun at his work. He's feeling pop, uh, uh, he's feeling, I was gonna say he's feeling popping. I meant to say he's feeling energized and he's like, still got it. Age doesn't determine what Kyoshi can and can't do. I wish that was the case, but at a certain point, it might be sensible that we stop sending you to the gym because this whole look is kind of low-key ridiculous, gotta say. Oh, <gasps> yes, she can start upgrading things. Okay, this is brilliant. We also built up by handing us way faster. Okay, I've upgraded just about everything I can. She's nearly at five. We're close. I don't think I've got any more parts. Can't do anything else there. Can't do anything else there. <gasps> Old Saffron is a clumsy sim. She tends to fail at physical activities more often, but they tend to shrug it off and laugh. Cute. Love that. Can I upgrade this one? Ugh. I think that's it. I think I need more. Oh, I need more parts. Ah. I'll rummage in the bin. Like, that's totally normal, you know? And I think she likes the hours on a morning before her parents get up and also the hours on an evening. I think she just enjoys both of those times when she can be, like, a little bit on her own. And I've noticed that little Dilbert has started to make quite a lot of accidents in the house. Dilbert is an older dog. He's only got two days left. Oh, Dilbert. Poor little baby. Okay, I did want to get her a kitten, but I don't think it's a good idea to introduce a kitten right at the end of a dog's life when it's already quite like old and grumpy and having a few accidents. It's quite a lot to deal with already. So maybe we wait. And I'm getting the thing where like, everyone is sad about a loss in the family, but like two days. It's not telling me that anyone's died. Has Kiyoshi's dad died, but it just didn't tell us? Let's have a look at the family tree. Oh, <gasps> he has. He died of old age, which I think of all the ways to go, old age is obviously the best way to go. But we should probably invite Megumi around because I, oh, these two have just aged up after I spent all that time putting their CC on. These guys are now aged up into teenagers. Oh, okay. We should probably invite Megumi around and try and spend a bit of time with mother-in-law today because she's going to be very down. Oh, yeah. Poor baby doggo. Lots of accidents, I'm afraid. Let's go ahead and take him out. This does happen. Puppies and, oh my gosh, what is this? Is this fruitcake? Oh. Fruitcake outside. Get oh, poor baby, you're gonna have a funny tummy. On top of already having accidents, aren't you? But yeah, puppies and older dogs. It's just the way of it. I don't really think you can get around it. So Kyoshi has uh, helpfully been like, oh, you need to spend some time with my mother, uh, with your mother-in-law, with mom, because she's uh, she's sad about losing husband Arino, obviously. But also, by the way, I've got to go to work, so bye. So leaving Scarlet to you and say mother-in-law on her own. Saffron's like, I want the dog, bye. She hates like people being around at the house, though. Okay. 
Let's invite poor Megumi around to hang out. Oh, and she's actually in her, like, is she in, like, full ski gear? Uh, okay. Wait, you don't even know your own grandma. Oh, it's because she's famous. It's hard to know her because she's famous. Yeah, she's always been quite an aloof mother-in-law. Even though she was president, she was still like, well, no one's good enough for my baby. And definitely not good enough to become good friends with B Lister. I mean, what did we end up as in our celebrity? We were a rising star, but because she's one level above us, she's like hard to talk to. So we're trying to entertain her in here. Saffron's gonna have to try when she gets home as well. <gasps> Hey, Saffron, we'd love to have you join the Trust Fund Babies. What do you think? Is this because she's an ex-president's daughter? Uh, this is the first time we've ever been asked to join a group or anything. Trust Fund Babies. Oh my gosh, what is this group? What even is this group? Delilah, Cassandra, Malcolm, who's an elder, and me. How old are you guys? Wait, Cassandra! Oh! Oh, wow! This is like the rich gang. So the land grubs and the goths. Obviously, Cassandra is now married to Jasper. Okay. <laughs> we have to be friendly with trust fund babies and be mean to everyone else? No, I don't want to be in this group. I hate this group. I'm not a trust fund baby. There, boom, I've left. Oh my gosh, I hate that. No. We started from nothing, you know? Just a generation before. We, we literally didn't even have a toilet for a while. So we're not trust fund babies. Although we have started to accumulate quite a lot of wealth. Okay, and the Festival of Youth is here. Oh, it's right outside. Okay, we might be able to try and meet some teens there. But for now, stop trying to escape this. Get home and say hello to your grandma. Nope, she has ignored me and gone the opposite direction. <laughs> okay, we're gonna try and say hello to the grandma. But she is like, I have to like attempt. Even though I'm literally related to her. Attempt introduction. I feel like the game should code it so you don't have to do this with family members. I honestly find that really stupid. Because she just like screamed at her. And now she can't meet her. And she's like literally her own grandma. I know I said she was aloof. But like, you're my flesh and blood. This is ridiculous. I don't care. I'm going to this festival of youth. Oh my gosh, it's all kids. It's just kids everywhere. Is there no teenagers in the whole of this place? I don't get it. Yeah, I cannot find a teenager anywhere. I feel like she's low-key hating living in Japan. I just get that vibe. Like... It's just full of kids and old folks. Young adult, adult, adult. I'm like even looking at young adults, seeing how far into their life. Like he's almost an adult. You're almost an adult. Why are you at the festival of youth? You are none. So we're having a little depresso ice cream, being like, I hate it here. I want to leave. I miss living near her, Emily. I don't like it here in Japan. Oh, now she's got an ice cream headache. Great. <gasps> What's the lounge? Whoa. Okay. I'm gonna send her to explore some of the buildings here. Look at this pretty little bridge and stuff. I know she's alone and she actually probably low-key hates this, but just somebody else her age, please. Oh. It's a bar. Okay, she is feeling kind of sad. I know it's lost in the family, but I don't think she was that close to her grandpa. I'm kind of taking it more of she's feeling sad about leaving where she used to live leaving her child at home where she had all those like you know nice memories with minzy i'm gonna find out what her favorite drink is and you know she found emily easy to talk to because they're like related whereas at school she finds it hard to make friends so she's gonna try her little uh try a hand at ordering a drink and her favorite drink oh where are we off is apparently a ridge pot what's ridge pot it kind of reminds me of one of the other locations maybe she'd rather move there maybe we move saffron out maybe she's not happy living here we're just a a shame because like I really wanted to live in Montgomery because it's my first time actually living here. Another teen has just come in. Alyssa Tala. She's apparently a fan. However, she also has tears in her eyes. She's looking sad. Maybe you guys can bond over sadness. Do a little oh my gosh yes girls always do this. Meet other people in the toilets and chat with them. That is absolute peak girl behavior right there. So we're gonna have a little chat with her. Maybe find ourselves another friend. Don't act tough. Don't act tough. Try and act like why don't you just have a big moan about the world with her? And as for advice, like, how do you cope with living here? There is literally nothing to do. It's so lame. So I'm literally watching Elder after Elder after Elder stream into here. But while all the Elders are just listening to another Elder um, play the piano, these guys are outside. And I feel like we could have gone ahead and just gotten Saffron, her first friendo, who is actually in her new home. Hi, sweetie. I want to say I'm thankful to have you despite everything. What does that mean? If you aren't too busy, can you come see me? I'll see you in one out. But you didn't even want to say hello to me. You didn't even want to talk to me when I came over before. I don't get you. And I just decided as well to check 
what her gender preferences are because I actually never checked like her attraction gender preferences. And she's got male 100%, but she has female 10%. So although her preference is male presenting sims, she still has a 10% preference for female presenting sims. So that gives us a little bit of flexibility with her storyline. But as always, I kind of like to see who they naturally, naturally have a preference to. Scarlet, like in her sim bio, found Kyoshi really hot. Minzy was attracted to Chris from the start, from her first day of work. So I will kind of keep that in mind for her story and just kind of see where her story takes me naturally, whilst also applying the not so berry stuff to it. And she isn't the type to stay in bars all night. Like she had one drink. She can literally walk home from it as well. And she at least met one of the teen, but she's definitely not loving living here. <gasps> Scarlet is at risk. I didn't know you could lose the lifestyle. Ooh, I need to get her writing tomorrow, don't I? And Kyoshi loves a bit of woodworking. He's gone woodworking crazy in his, uh, I've never seen him do it before, but since we got him this, he's absolutely been loving that. <gasps> his lifestyle, his outdoor lifestyle. Oh, I guess because they're elders, it's a little bit harder to maintain. But I love that, like, it's such a cool thing, like, when you're older and you get this new hobby. He's an elder and he's decided he's suddenly really into woodworking. I think that's really cute. And I might display some of his little kind of, let's face it, crappy but amazing creations around the house. <gasps> Actually, they're not. Look, a bun bun. I don't know what Cute. I also made a knife block, so I'm going to put that downstairs. Oh, Kiyoshi, that's so sweet. A little dragon. Oh, and maybe he's been woodworking so much to take his mind off losing his dad, baby. Throwing himself into a hobby. I think this is going to be, and she's feeling super sad about it, but her first day at her new school. She's asking for advice. Her first day at her new school in Mount Komorebi. My face is a mess. I can't go out anywhere looking like this. What can I do? I don't want to tell her not to overreact because if she's genuinely feeling like worried about her parents, she shouldn't do. However, I'm going to suggest... Oh, conflict resolution. Okay, I'm gonna suggest, you know, cause she's almost an elder now. Uh, no, she's not. She is almost a um, young adult now anyway. If she wants to have a go at, with some of Scarlett's makeup, Scarlett's gonna be like, if you feel like more confident, if you put a bit of makeup on, like you don't need it, but if you want it, it's upstairs, give it a go. So we're just gonna go ahead in and like I said, I don't wanna put loads on her cause I don't feel like it will suit her a lot. But if she wants to try a little something, then that's absolutely fine. It's her first time doing makeup. Like it doesn't have to be ridiculous looking, like ridiculously good looking cause it's her first of a time but if it's just like a bit to give her confidence maybe a little bit of lip gloss as well then i think that's kind of cute there you go babes oh and she's trying to give herself a little pep talk a little pep talk ready for her first day oh bless her she really does find like going to places with lots of people really nerve-wracking if any of you guys can relate to that in the comments below let me know oh were you practicing practicing kissing. She has definitely got romance on the mind. Okay. Okay. She wants to write in her journal as well. Okay. Perfect. This is definitely a journal writing experience. She definitely seems to get nervous in areas with a bunch of people. However, if you're an astronaut in a ship, especially if you're on a solo mission, probably not going to bump into many other sims. So it's kind of a perfect job for her really. But enough writing. Time for your first day at school. And I'm gonna get her to try and make some friends. But she was practicing kissing in front of the mirror. I just don't feel like it's in her personality to do this. I'll see how she gets on with the friend thing first. And Scarlet, who's feeling really stressed about work with trolls. Okay, why don't we get you to come upstairs then and keep working on this book? Ooh, and whilst leaving the bathroom, Saffron notices that her chief academic rival has left a notebook in the sink. Should she return it or toss it in the trash? It's Saffron, like she would definitely return it. <gasps> The owner is grateful to get it back and invites Saffron to her house to study sometime. So she actually got a performance gain, but did we like work out who it was? Jennifer. <gasps> I think it says Jennifer Gilmore. Okay, this is good. This is good. We met another teenager who is also a big old nerd like us because it's our academic rival. So that's good. Oh, look, little Dilbert sits and hangs out with her while she's uh, writing her book. That's so cute. And she's finished inviting her book. Boom. We can sell our first book. And we've got a school project. I am going to... Oh, oh no. Oh no, we're having a mood swing. I am going to invite over Jennifer because um, she's our friend though. Scarlett Slate's book was pretty good. It didn't catch on as much as she hoped, but she did earn a thousand followers. I and we'll get, start getting royalties. Jennifer's coming over. Uh, how do I work on this rage thing? Uh, she wants to throw a tantrum. No, 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 no. Why don't you scribble furiously in your journal, okay? And this Jennifer is just about to age up as well. She lives at the Gilmore Manor with Dean Gilmore and Adriana Gilmore. Okay. This is a good friend though then because they're about to enter the next stage of their lives at the same time as us. Okay, so here is... Oh, it's not telling me the info about her, so I don't know what her traits and stuff are. But here is how she looks. Because they're a similar age and we might end up seeing a bit more of her, I'm going to just throw on a little bit of CC for her. I wish astronaut was a profession where you actually like went in 
to work. I think that would be really cool. I kind of wish all of them had the option to do that, but... And I just realized how, 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 how did I not send Saffron to school in the actual, like, little outfit that comes with Snowy Escape. So I'm going to rectify that real quick on both of them. But here is her new little friendo. I did a little bit of CC to her. I think she's super cute. And here is Saffron in hers. I can't believe I didn't send her in with her. I'm so annoyed. Okay, so I've got her to write out angry plus 50. Oh, jeez. I don't know if I can overtake that. That is pretty high. Oh my gosh, dad and your spandexes, please get out of my room so that uh, just as girls can uh, hang out here instead. She's also feeling a little bit down. Why don't we try and make a new friend though? She's got the everyman personality type. It's actually going to be kind of hard because she was an academic rival in school. They did have a whole rivalry going on and she just flicked her on the head. So like, you know, they're both similar in that they are very academic, very try hard, but there's definitely rivalry. Oh! <gasps> Okay, we've learned that she's mean. Oh, okay, this might not go down the way I expected it to go. I was hoping we might overcome our rivalry and become friends, but instead you guys are just actually teasing each other mercilessly. Oh my gosh, she actually wants to fight her. No. You guys said a good way to make a sim like want to be your friend a little bit more is to be like, why don't we take a picture together for social? So I'm gonna see if they'll get a little photo together. She doesn't have any mean sentiments about it yet. Why did you have to be mean? Why? <laughs> I really thought we might have a similarly minded friend here. But they're gonna look cute in their little school uniforms together. She looks, she's got tears in her eyes. Maybe she's only mean because she's got other stuff going on in her life. I don't know. I'm just making excuses for her at this point, aren't I? But I just don't like the idea that she's mean without reason, you know? Okay, so that has made them like each other a bunch more. You guys taught me that tip in my vampire legacy challenge. And honestly, it's a really good one. <gasps> Jennifer's also a loner. Oh my gosh. They actually have a lot more in common than either of them think. She's like, I should get going now. Little do you know, I locked Kiyoshi out. So you're actually trapped in here. So they're both like these loner super academic quite like emotional sims who don't like being around a bunch of people and care about doing really well in school and they are more or less identical in age as well very interesting oh she's practicing kissing in front of the mirror too she's like oh my gosh i was doing that this morning and i kind of wonder without 10 percent attractiveness can i get her to scope the room right now oh i don't have the option to do it i can't tell if she finds jennifer attractive or not <gasps> sleepover yes Okay, let's do that. A sleepover. Sounds great. Okay, that's nice then. They've somehow managed to become friends despite the fact that she's mean. The other thing, I'm going to unlock the door now. I will allow you outside. But she's not really done much stargazing since she's been here. So I was wondering, you know, something she's not really done since losing Minzy. She's not really looked into the stars very much. Now she's got a new friend and she's eventually started to like um, Mount Komorobi a bit more. Why don't you guys check out the star systems here? Oh, that's cute. She's little bro, Ren. He's a young adult now. He's more grown up. There we go. They're having a little stargaze. Do the stars? I was going to say the stars look different here, but I can't freaking see them. So I don't know. But this is nice. It's the first time that she's actually like seemed happy since moving here. So, you know, baby steps, baby steps. Oh, and Kyoshi is sad because he knows that Saffron is about to grow up. She's about to become a young adult. Two days left. Ooh, and yes toilet's broken. This is the only playthrough where I get excited when things are broken. Level five. <gasps> no. Oh my gosh. Dilbert has led a good life. Filled with walks. Lots of walks with everyone. So many walks. Oh no. But that's it guys. That's the end for little Dilbert. I can't believe that. I, I mean, I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming, but I didn't think he'd die in the middle of the night. I thought we'd have a little bit more time. You guys probably walked in the most. <gasps> Poor Kiyoshi. And also, <laughs> our ghost housemate is very sad as well. Oh, little baby. Should we put him in the garden? I need to get the little table and chairs back and stuff. But I think we should bury little baby Dilbert in the garden. My papa. Death of a pet. She will always remember those little paws. Oh no. It's time to make his way to the big dog park in the sky. Goodbye, Dilbert. You were such an absolute pure baby. Absolute pure baby. And honestly, I feel like the outside of this garden is like a really beautiful little place to put his little gravestone as well. The only good thing, I'm not saying it's a good, it's not good that Dilbert's died, but I made a promise that when Dilbert died, I would go ahead and allow Saffron to have her first pet. So tomorrow morning, I will go ahead and check the adoptions for a yellow themed kitty cat. Oh, and look, Kyoshi's gone outside to mourn Dilbert. 
baby. Also, we lost our sleepover girl. Don't know where she went. Oh, bless her. She's woken up so sad. Oh, baby. Okay, so we want to adopt. I feel like she's a cat person, but... I need it to have yellow vibes. Okay, what do we got? Bogey's very yellow. I kind of need a kitten though. We might have to go for Rook instead. Yeah, these guys are adults, but these little ones are kittens. Oh. <gasps> okay hear me out this car is called laker laker was the first dog in space now obviously it's kind of a sad story because you know it's the first dog first animal to orbit earth there was no return plan for paul laker i feel like i've named did i name lilith's dog laker as well and call it Lakia for the whole thing because i generally thought the dog was called Lakia. but first dog in space i feel like saffron would know that straight away and instantly be like oh <gasps> This kitten is actually named the same name as the first dog in space. I'm kind of thinking maybe we should check this cat out. It's a sign. I genuinely feel like that's a sign. So adoption dude is here. <gasps> and here is space cat Laker or Laika Laker looking super cute. It's a Persian cat. I think it's a girl. Is she a little Persian cat? I feel as though she is. I think she's gonna have long hair when she's older. Uh, let's go do a cautious introduction to her. Cause you know, we know dogs, but we don't really know cats. We're gonna go ahead and introduce ourselves very carefully to little kitten Laker space cat. Oh, and look, I also got this option to scare. Laker's a skittish cat, so a bit nervous around big crowds, which is exactly the same as Saffron. Like, it actually just matches her personality really well. Or at least they have a similar personality. And she's offering her friendship. It is a skittish nervous cat, but I think... <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of an unusual looking car, but I feel like it likes her. And it's a space car. Like, I feel like we gotta, we gotta go for it. We've gotta adopt. Are you sure you wanna adopt this pet? Yes, 100%. Laker. Very. Oh, I wanna see you doing the little cuddle. Now, I don't ever advise getting a new pet so soon after losing an old one, but I wanted her to get a kitten while she was still a teenager, and obviously she's just about to become an adult. But there we go. We've got ourselves a little kitty cat. I'm gonna go ahead and get us to fill the bowl, and then you actually do need to go to school, so we'll have to catch up with kitty cat this evening. But new school, new uniform, new school friend frenemy friend slash uh, enemy where's she gone jennifer academic rival but we've somehow become friends because i returned her notebook and new space car oh my gosh skittish and clever such like a saffron car the car is aloof saffron's not really aloof i wouldn't say but she does have her head in the clouds specifically in the clouds leading up to space because for a space car we've got a future astronaut space girl as well so i feel like that's all worked out way way better than i expected let me know if you guys agree and what you think of little laker we'll get to see what laker looks like when she's an adult and also we'll get to see what saffron looks like as an adult in the next episode so if you guys are excited for that please go ahead and give this video a cheeky thumbs up thank you so so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the video bye